Well, happy almost Mother's Day to all of the women out there who have loved someone and, and nurtured someone along the way in life's journey. Uh, thank you for, for who you are and, and for living into that holy calling. You know, some years ago, I asked my, my nephew, who was in fourth or fifth grade at the time, what time he woke up for school. Um, and, and he said about 6.30 a.m. In the, in the morning. And, and uh, I asked him, does, does your mom wake you up? And um, to which he replied, yes. And then without missing a beat, said, she's always awake. This week, if, if there has been someone in your life that, that has always been awake for you, that, that maternal figure that you could always depend on, whether it was a mother or some other adult figure, I, I want to encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity to, to call them up and thank them. Um, and maybe uh, even invite them to join you for worship this Sunday. Um, and this Sunday, we're going to be looking at a story in the books of book of Acts as, as the disciples try and figure out um, what the early church is, is supposed to look like. Um, in preparing for worship, I'd encourage you to go ahead and read Acts 1, 15 through 26, and, and, and pay attention to how they go about uh, making a, a difficult decision in ministry. Um, and I wonder how that compares to maybe a process that, that you use when you are uh, seeking to make a challenging decision. I look forward to, to seeing you this coming Sunday. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Uh, I'll see you soon.